So in this lecture, we're going to see how we can actually use the tracing information uh, for all the tracing information along with that particular uh, screenshot. And we are actually going to see how we can actually uh, make even more extracted screenshot information. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, create one more file. I'm going to say uh, trace of uh, extract or something like that. And over here, I'm going to start doing those, those uh, operation. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stop the uh, tracing over here. Probably I'm just going to take a bit further and I'm going to put the tracing information over here. Uh, and let me just save this guy. All right. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start extracting the trace information. So for doing that, I'm just going to put a const of uh, trace info, uh, something like that. And then I'm just going to do a JSON dot parse. So we know that uh, for the JavaScript language, the JSON is something which is already there in built, which is quite good. Uh, so using this parse, you can actually just uh, do a lot of things. I mean, you can directly get this JSON file and start working with it. Uh, but in order to read the file, we actually require another uh, library called as FS or it's a file system library. So you require that. So I'm just going to do a require of FS. This is quite good and nice uh, thing. It's like the system.io in Java and .NET. That's exactly what it is. So I'm just going to use this guy to read the file. So FS dot read file sync. And I'm going to read the file based on the file that I have, which is nothing but the trace dot JSON file over here. And I'm going to read that in the probably in the UTF format. So UTF eight like that. Uh, and then I'm going to start doing the trace operation. So I'm just going to say something like a const of trace uh, data is equal to uh, trace info dot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, trace events. So there is something called as trace events where you can actually do something like a filter of x such that I'm going to do something like this, where I'm going to say x dot cat, which is nothing but the categories is equal to uh, disabled by default screenshots, something like that. So I'm just going to put that guy over here. And then I'm going to put some additional information like x dot name as code to screenshots and type of x dot args as undefined and snapshot as undefined. I mean, you can get all this information uh, from your developers if you are not pretty much aware, like how you can do that, because uh, they actually write or put a lot of information for the performance tracing. So you can use those option to be uh, available for you over here. So I'm just going to put all those informations here and then we can actually extract that particular information and then we can create a screenshot and we can see how it actually works. So for doing that, once again, I'm just going to do a trace uh, data dot because this is going to be like a uh, array of information. I'm going to use a for each loop here and I'm going to write a uh, function like snap comma index and within this particular uh, function I'm just going to do an fs dot write file of I'm just going to say trace screenshot because it's going to be the screenshot of all the trace information that we are doing and I'm going to use the uh, here symbol for doing the string manipulation I'm just going to say index dot png comma snap dot args dot snapshot comma base 64 a function of the errors i probably need one more function here which is going to take care of that and if there is going to be any function error that you can just write a console dot log of uh, write error something like that and i guess this is all right we need to put a close process because it's an if condition and that's it. I guess that's all good. So this way it's going to take a screenshot. It's going to parse those information and it's going to print those information. I mean, take those screenshot and it's going to show us over here, which is also pretty cool. 
So now let's try to see if this really actually works. So I'm just going to do a node of extract and I'm just going to run that guy right now. So it's going to spawn the browser once again. And you can see that it has completed. And now we are expecting some screenshots to come in over here. And you can see that all the screenshots comes in. So you can see that all these screenshot is basically the screenshot that you actually saw on the timeline over there. So this is pretty cool, right? I mean, you have captured all the screenshot of that particular operation that you're performing. And it is also capturing just the screenshot. So you're basically extracting the information that you want. And you're also showing that information over here, which is also pretty cool. So this is how you can actually keep extracting the events that you really require based on the category, like how we did in our edit video with this particular category. And then you can get that, which is quite good. So these are the things that you can actually do over here on playwrights trace operation using a very very super simple start tracing method and stop tracing method along with few more informations you can actually do a lot of operations on your playwright while doing modern testing that you really require to do so meet you in our next lecture while we talk about video capture with playwright thank you